He doesn't want You're to answer senator. the question. I'm not going to answer the question Why because, would you answer that because question? the question you is the new question Supreme is Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man? Listen, who it was a difficult debate to watch. That's something most of the country agrees on. Our political experts do. The first presidential debate had name calling, interruptions, personal attacks, people talking over each other. Something we've never seen play out to this extent on a presidential debate stage. We welcome our experts back to uh, get their take once again. Democrat James Mahe and Republican Kelly Maher. Thanks guys for sticking around. So over on Channel 9, we talked about your initial reaction to the debate. Um, now I'd like to know what, if anything, it accomplished. James, I'll start with you. Did Joe Biden do what he needed uh, in this debate? Well, I think he hung in there. Uh, he, he certainly played to his base, and, and I think that uh, President Trump played, played to his. I mean, let's put this in context. We have a sitting president who was asked to disavow uh, white supremacy. I don't, I don't call it supremacy. I don't think there's anything supreme about it. But his words are now being used by a white militia group to energize their base. Uh, so instead of a, a peaceful transfer of power, uh, when Trump loses the election, um, he, he says that's not something that uh, he, he's willing to concede to at this point. Kelly, was the president's strategy of being uber aggressive, uh, is that gonna help him with any voters? Well, you know, I think that that is clearly what his base was looking for. I agree with James on that, that, that he played to his side and Joe Biden played to his. But when you're looking at where this election is going to be won or lost, places like Florida, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, uh, those are the places that the issues that Trump did okay on, for instance, talking about reopening and the economy, talking about law and order issues. Those are the places that he needed to make those cases because it's not about the national poll. So after the debate, a lot of the analysts talked about how Joe Biden seemed more presidential than the president. So Kelly, is that even a thing with voters anymore? You know, I don't know, because we're certainly a far cry from the debates that we saw even a decade ago. We were, I think it was my friend Dan Haley who tweeted about how he remembers when George Bush got called out for checking his watch once during a debate and seeming like he was not particularly interested in, and how he was nostalgic for those times. We're clearly in a new and divisive environment right now, and trying to figure out how to navigate that has been, I think, really hard for people on both sides. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about that. James, does acting presidential, uh, does that have an impact on voters? I think it does. Um, there are not that many undecideds at this point. Uh, what it does is harden the base, but for those few that listened, and heard a president um, be, be as uh, inviting to racists as you can be without actually calling them up by name um, and, uh, and, and not coming with any substantive plan with, with regard to COVID, I, I think it does persuade some people uh, to, to go with Joe Biden. I want to thank you both for uh, getting up this morning. and Can't wait until the next two debates. We'll talk again. <laughs> you guys take care. Thanks. Thank you.